Let's come to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power of x times 27 to the power of x. This is equal to 36. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. This is 3 to the power of x times 27, which is 3 to the power of 3. And this is 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 36. The next step is that 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3x. This is equal to 36. Now, 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3x, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x. This is equal to 36. So we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x. This is 5x. This is equal to 36. To solve for x here, let's introduce logarithm on both sides. We have rock 3 to the power of 5x. This is equal to rock 36. Now, rock 3 to the power of 5x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of b, which we can express as b rock a. Now, let's apply this power root property so that now rock 3 to the power of 5x becomes 5x. This is rock 3, and this is equal to rock 36. So the next step is to divide on both sides by rock 3. So that now, the next step is to simplify here. Now let's simplify rock 3 and rock 3 here, so that we have 5x. This is equal to rock 36 divided by rock 3. Now we can express 36. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. Let's substitute this so that we have 5x. This is equal to rog 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. Cross the parentheses. Everything here divided by rog 3. Now, Rock 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of rock A multiplied by B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 5x. This is equal to rock 3 to the power of 2 divided by rock 3. Then plus rock 2 to the power of 2, then divided by rock 3. So, the next step is that we can apply the power root property here. That is rock 3 to the power of 2. This becomes 2 rock 3 divided by rock 3. Then plus rock 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rock 2. Then divided by rock 3. So that now we can simplify rock 3 and rock 3 here. So this is 5x. This is equal to 2 plus 2. This is rock 2 divided by rock 3. Now, rock 2 over rock 3. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B which can be expressed as rock A to base B. So let's apply this property so that now we have 5x. This is equal to 2 plus 2. This is rock 2 to base 3. 
the next step is to divide everything here by 5 so that now 5 and 5 here simplifies so that now we can express x this is equal to since 2 over 5 is common we can factor out 2 over 5 into the parentheses this is 1 plus row 2 to base 3 so this is the value of x this is the value of x the next step is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation by following these steps now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation if you recall we have that 9 to the power of x multiplied by 27 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 so 9 this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x they should give us a value of 36 so 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x this can be expressed as 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of 3x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 now this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which you can express as a to the power of n plus m so therefore we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x this should give us a value of 36 so this is 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x this is 5x and this is supposed to give us a value of 36 let's substitute the value of x here so this is 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by x which is 2 over 5 into the parentheses this is 1 plus rho 2 to base 5 cross the parentheses this is supposed to give us a value of 36 let's simplify 5 and 5 here so that we have 3 to the power of 2 times 1 this is 2 then plus 2 times rog 2 to base 5 this is 2 rog 2 to base 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 36 let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that 9 to the power of x times 27 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 so we can express 9 to the power of x as 3 to the power of 2 this to the power of x multiplying by 27 to the power of x which is 3 to the power of 3 then raised to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 now this is 3 to the power of 2 times x which is 2x multiplying by 3 to the power of 3 times x which is 3x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 now this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m so here we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x this is supposed to give us a value of 36 so this is 3 to the power of 2x plus 3x this is 5x and this should give us a value of 36 so the next step is to substitute the value of x here and this means we have 3 to the power of 5 times 2 over 5 into the parentheses this is 1 plus rock 2 to base 3 then this is supposed to give us a value of 36 so let's simplify 5 and 5 here so that now this is 3 to the power of let's open the parentheses here this is 2 times 1 which is 2 plus 2 times rock 2 to base 3 
this is 2 log 2 to base 3. This should give us a value of 36. Now, this 2 is a power here, so we can express this as 3 to the power of 2 plus this is log 2 to the power of 2, then to base 3. This should give us a value of 36. So, 3 to the power of 2 plus log 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So here we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power of 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 3 squared, this is 9, multiplied by 3 to the power of rock 2 squared to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, and this should give us a value of b. So essentially here, 3 to the power of rock 2 squared to base 3, this should give us 2 squared, which is 4. So let's substitute 4. So this is 9 times 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. And we have that 9 times 4, this is equal to 36, which is equal to 36. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is equal to 2 over 5, into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 2 to base 3 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.